Valley residents may find themselves suffering from itchy, burning eyes or nasal congestion. With spring in full swing, the Allergy and Asthma Foundation has ranked McAllen the number one most challenging city to live in with spring allergies. CBS 4's Jelani Martinez spoke to residents and doctors who weren't surprised with where McAllen stands. No, absolutely not. All the uh, trees and the uh, grass that we have here in the valley doesn't surprise me at all. Dr. John Paredes of UTRDV and Doctors Hospital at Renaissance says in the past month he has seen an uptick of patients with allergic rhinitis and asthma. But McAllen being ranked among the worst areas in the country for allergies is no surprise to him either, as the city has a rich history in agriculture. Well, there's bound to be all kinds of pollens and, and, and trees and flowering plants and these, all of these agents actually go into the air and cause irritation and cause are responsible for some of the, the common causes of, of allergies, what we call seasonal allergies. Here's a look at the current conditions for South Texas with tree, grass and ragweed at a moderate level. Even though the levels are moderate right now, the doctor I spoke to today says he expects the pollen count to increase and see more patients looking for relief from their allergies. To prevent allergic reactions, Centers for Disease Control and Prevention advise individuals to avoid contact with the allergen by being in an air-conditioned environment, eliminate dust mites from the home, and take medication to counteract reactions, which is what residents like Freddy Castillo also advises. Keep an allergy medication close by. I keep mine in my car. In McAllen with Complete Valley coverage, Jolani Martinez, CVS4 Valley Tonight.